Today, our I can statement in math is, I can partition circles and rectangles into two and four equal parts. Repeat that after, or with me, actually. I can partition circles and rectangles into two and four equal parts. One more time. I can partition circles and rectangles into two and four equal parts. The word partition means divide. Today we're going to learn about fractions. A fraction is a whole divided into equal parts. A fraction is a whole divided into equal parts. If I have a whole pizza, the pizza can be divided into equal parts. That means each piece should be the same. One whole pizza divided into equal parts. If I cut my pizza, how many parts do I have? I have two parts. One out of two, one out of two pieces. If I cut the pizza again in half, now I have four equal parts. So my pizza is divided into four equal parts. If I have one whole graham cracker, how many parts is the graham cracker divided into? I have four equal parts. So four would go into the box. Four equal parts. One whole graham cracker divided into four parts. One out of four, one out of four, one out of four, one out of four. I even have a real graham cracker here. One whole graham cracker, if I were to break it in half, I don't have two graham crackers. I have one whole graham cracker divided into two equal parts. I can divide it again. And now I have four equal parts. One out of four, one out of four, one out of four, and one out of four. And the way we write that is, if I have a whole graham cracker and I were to divide it into equal parts, this would be what I shade in is one piece out of one, two, three, four total pieces. That's how we write it. Now to say that one out of four is one fourth. If I were to color in two of the pieces, that is called two out of the four pieces or two fourths. Okay, now I have a blue bar, one whole blue bar. We could call that a blueberry bar, we could call it a chocolate bar, whatever you want to call it, that's one whole bar. If I am to divide it into two pieces, okay, same bar, but now I've cut it in half, we would call that one out of two, one out of two, or one half and one half. How about if I were to cut it again into half? Then I would have how many pieces? There's one piece, two pieces, three pieces, and four pieces. Still equal to the one whole, but now I have one out of four, one out of four, one out of four, and one out of four. And how do I say one out of four? It's one fourth. One fourth, one fourth, and one fourth. How about though, if I were to remove the one whole and the two halves, and let's see if you can tell me how many pieces are showing right now. How many pieces of my one whole are showing? Well, we would say one out of four, one out of four, and one out of four is three fourths. So I would write that as three fourths. Our lesson today was about fractions. A fraction is a whole divided into equal parts. 
a whole divided into equal parts as a whole graham cracker. One, two, three, four. All four parts are equal. Thank you. Have a good day.